continents of the world. Continents are very large land masses found on Earth. The Earth has seven such continents Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, and Australia. Asia is the world's largest and most populous continent. It covers 30% of the Earth's land mass and hosts 60% of the world's current human population. Asia, along with Europe, form the world's largest landmass, Eurasia, divided by the Ural Mountains. By water, it is bounded on three sides by the Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean and Arctic Ocean. Africa is the second largest and also the second most populated continent in the world. The continent of Africa covers 20.4% of the world's total land area and accounts for 14.72% of the world's human population. It is surrounded by the Mediterranean Sea, the Indian Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean and the Red Sea. Africa is widely regarded to be the continent where humans originated. It is located on the equator and experiences a number of climatic changes. North America is the third largest continent. It occupies 16.5% of the world's land mass and homes 7.8% of the world's population. It is surrounded by four water bodies, the Arctic Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. South America is the fourth largest continent in terms of area. It is also the fifth most populous continent. It is bordered on the west by the Pacific Ocean and to the north and east by the Atlantic Ocean. South America is home to the world's highest waterfall, the largest river by volume, the longest mountain range and many other geographical wonders. Antarctica is the fifth largest continent in area. About 98% of Antarctica is covered by ice that averages about 1.6 kilometers in thickness. It is the coldest, driest and windiest continent. Antarctica is considered a desert with only 8 inches of rainfall in a year. People live here only for research purpose. Temperatures in Antarctica can drop to as low as minus 89 degrees Celsius. It is home to a variety of penguin species. Europe, by convention, is one of the world's seven continents divided from Asia by the Ural Mountains. It covers about 6.8% of the Earth's surface area and accounts for 11% of its population. It is bordered by the Arctic Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Mediterranean Sea and the Black Sea. Australia is the smallest and lowest-lying human-inhabited continent on Earth. As it is mostly on a single landmass, it is also referred to as an island continent surrounded by oceans. Find things each continent is known for geographically, like South America is known for the Amazon forest and the Amazon river. Which countries form a part of North America? Which country is the largest in terms of area in Asia? Thank you.
What are clouds made of? One of the most common sights in nature are the clouds. In terms of weather, they are simply visible masses of tiny water droplets. Did you know that a whole branch of study called cloud physics is dedicated to understanding this cotton candy-like phenomenon? When the sun shines over rivers, lakes and oceans of the world, it heats up the surface of the water. Heating causes the water to turn into water vapour and rise into the air. As it goes higher, the water vapour begins to cool down and turns back into water droplets. The temperature at which water condenses is called the dew point. The dew point is not a constant because it depends on the amount of water present in the air. Tiny droplets of water hang suspended in the Earth's atmosphere. The water vapour condenses into water to form clouds. The clouds become heavy after some time due to the accumulated water. Gravity brings the accumulated water down as rain. White clouds allow sunlight to pass. Clouds appear white because they allow light to pass through it. Since sunlight is white, the water droplets simply act like a canvas upon which the sun throws its rays. When trillions of water droplets get together in one cloud, they allow less and less light to pass through it, thus giving it a dark grey hue. This is also how we know that it is about to rain. What is Soil Profile? A vertical section cutting through the soil showing the different layers of the soil is called a soil profile. Soil profile can be seen by looking at the sides of a recently dug trench or while digging a well or a foundation of a building. Soil has three different layers, topsoil, subsoil and substratum. Topsoil. It is the most useful part of the soil. It is dark in color because it is rich in minerals and humus. Plant roots also grow in the top soil. Many living things like insects, worms, bacteria and rodents live in the top soil. It contains the decayed remains of dead plants and animals which forms humus. Humus makes the top soil very fertile. Subsoil The layer of soil just below the top soil is called subsoil. It is lighter in color and has little humus. It is made up of slightly bigger rock particles which makes it harder and more compact. It contains very little living organisms. Substratum The layer of soil just below the subsoil is called the substratum. It mainly consists of partially broken or weathered rocks. These rocks keep breaking from the bedrock which is just below the substratum. It is this bedrock that has produced soil over a long period of time. There are some important climatic factors which affect the soil profile and bring changes in the soil. What are glaciers? Glaciers are massive bodies of flowing ice. They are found in cold regions where snow does not melt. It just piles up and crushes the snow beneath it to form glaciers. Glaciers slowly move downwards, changing the shape of the topography as they go. Glaciers that move downwards carve out U-shaped valleys as they slide. Bits of rocks carried by glaciers collect to form ridge-like mounds called moraines. Above a certain height, snow never melts. This is called the snow line. Glaciers always form above this line. The Siachen Glacier separates India and China. Can you find out why it is a strategic border? Why are glaciers important to us as well as the environment?